I'm Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International in Vienna. Joining me now is Antoine Savine, Quantitative Research at Danske Bank. Thank you very much for joining me today. So just tell me, how is AAD transforming quantitative finance? Well, AAD is a very powerful algorithm and a sophisticated programming practice to compute differentials. That's all it does. But it does it really well and really fast. And that changes everything. The purpose of AAD in finance, the reason we applied it in the first place, is real-time intraday risk management of de derivatives and XVA. Um, without AAD, it couldn't be done. Risk reports were too slow to compute. The best we could do was overnight, even in large data centers. So when we implemented AAD on a production scale, first in Danske Bank, then industry-wide, what we gave ourselves is this amazing ability to compute and hide our risks in seconds to minutes uh, on trading workstations, even for large trading books and uh, large netting sets. But it doesn't have to stop here. The, um, these differentials, they carry information that's very useful in a large number of contexts. And AED gives us these differentials virtually for free. So, uh, this information can be leveraged in ways we couldn't really imagine before because these differentials were too expensive to compute. But now we have them, we can do all sorts of things. For example, my talk tomorrow with Brian Huge leverages AED to train financial machine learning models considerably better. So we can do that with AED too. And you've obviously written a book on this subject. Where do you see it going in the future? Well. If I have a quick look at the agenda, it's very clear that it's all about machine learning and deep learning. Now, interestingly, what makes deep learning work is an algorithm called backpropagation, which is itself a form of AED. So um, backprop and AED, they're based on the same maths, but they were developed independently by different people on different platforms with different goals and we ended up with very different implementations each one with its own benefits and its own limitations for example backpropagation is suitable for execution on GPU but only for code that's written in terms of matrix algebra so right now um, machine learning uh, is being combined in uh, with in quantitative finance libraries. And in order to do it correctly, these two, AED and Backprop, will have to be properly combined too. And I think this is where AED is hiding in the near future. And I believe that the next generation of uh, financial libraries will be written in terms of tensors, so that we have a unified context for financial algorithms and machine learning. And regarding your talk, what's the one thing that you'd like people to take away from it? Well, my talk tomorrow with Brian is all about the combination and the synergy of machine learning with other powerful um, financial tools, especially parallel simulations, model hierarchies, scripting, and of course AAD. And what we, what, what, what we are going to show is that a consistent articulation of all these technologies with machine learning can give us a unique single calculation engine for the risk management of all kind of derivatives, but also for regulations like XVA, uh, CCR, FRTB, etc. This is a, a really strong vision we have in Danske Bank, where we call it uh, one calculation engine. Antoine Savine from Danske Bank, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me, Joanna.